with all the photosynthesis this diatom is performing, it's ready to grow because of all the energy it's stored. But I know what you're thinking. You're thinking it can't grow because its silica cell wall is too rigid. Well, this is what happens. When the cell undergoes mitosis, it is diploid, or 2N after all, it splits so that one of the two daughter cells inherits the hypotheca, and the other cell inherits the epitheca, and then they simply synthesize the other complementary half from more monomers of silica. But there is a problem with this system. You see, the new half, which is grown after the cell divides, this ends up being smaller than the existing half. Now, for the daughter cell that inherited the larger epitheca, no problem, it will remain its original size. But for the daughter cell that received the smaller hypotheca, well, it develops a smaller half, which becomes the hypotheca to this half. And so, there is a reduction in size in one of the two daughter diatoms. But wait, the problem just gets worse. Because this smaller diatom, it grows and it gets ready to divide. And one of its two daughter cells will end up being smaller than the original parent. And so, every time a diatom divides, one of the two daughter cells gets smaller. Eventually, it might even reach one-third its maximum size, and now no longer be able to grow. Is this a disaster? Does the population fail? No. This is where the diatoms get a bit creative. At this point, the diatoms stop undergoing mitosis with their diploid cells and instead undergo meiosis and produce gametes. In some cases, there are smaller sperm with flagella and larger ova, and in other cases, the sperm and ova are about the same size and the sperm lack flagella, and so the gametes look about the same. These gametes then fuse and form a new diploid cell. When two haploid gametes fuse, they form a diploid oxospore. This oxospore is not surrounded by a rigid silica cell wall. Instead, it's got this silica-rich matrix known as a perizonium. This perizonium allows the oxospore to expand. So, the product of this small cell can now expand to its maximum size. Once it reaches its maximum size, it then makes a silical cell wall frustule again, and its life cycle can continue. 